This is just going to be a quick video on uh, the Inkscape assignment. Uh, hit the Windows key, type Inkscape. And if you don't see an icon that looks like this Inkscape icon right here, uh, says Inkscape app, not like a search thing, thing that, that works. Otherwise, type the whole word, and you'll see the app show up. This is on the Windows machines. The um, Linux and um, Mac machines work similarly. So click on the Inkscape icon, and it should open the Inkscape app. Let it give it, give it a minute, because it's a big app, so it takes a while to load. Um, and I've got a, I'm recording the screen, so it's going to take a little bit longer. Hello. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll cut this part out. OK. So here's the Inkscape app. Still loading. There it is. All right. So the Inkscape app is uh, the primary developers are in Europe, so they have a different paper size. So we're going to use a, we're going to go to File, Document Properties, and this will bring up a little dialog window, a little a control window here. So we're going to Format, go into U.S. Letter, and change the display units to points because that's the graphic arts land. All right. So over here on the left are a bunch of tools. Up here we have the, the uh, address bar and some, some uh, tools up here. So we're going to draw a background. We're going to use that, the, the rectangle tool, and draw a rectangle. Doesn't really matter what size. Now I notice my rectangle has a border, so I want to take that border out for the background. So I go to Object, Fill and Stroke. Fill and Stroke is the fill is the color on the inside. The stroke is the line on the outside. Go to Stroke Style and make it zero. And then hit enter, and then the, the stroke goes away. Uh, fill, you can change the fill color down here to whatever color you want. If you use your scroll mouse wheel, it'll, it'll scroll the, the little swatches down at the bottom. Um, but purple's fine for now. I'm going to select this. If I select the item, it's got these arrows around it. I can drag the corner. It'll drag this way. I can drag the side. I can drag the bottom. Um, if I click again, I can rotate it. Control Z will reverse what I just did. And in graphics land, I want everything perfect. So rather than trying to put this exactly up in the corner and then trying to stretch it to exactly the right size, I'm going to go use these tools up here. So on the, on the workspace, 0, 0 is the upper uh, left-hand corner. X goes across the top. Y goes down the bottom. So and the reference point for the object you're looking at, oops, I double clicked. Um, reference point for the object you're looking at is uh, the upper left-hand corner of the object. So now if I go 0, 0, it moves up into the upper left-hand corner. And in points, since we set it for points, 612 is 8 inches. And 792 is 11 inches. Um, and I've used, I, I clicked in the first window, but then I used the tab key to go between the windows. So it's much faster than using the mouse. All right, now my background is filling the page, but if I start working with this background and I drag something, I might just drag the background around too. So you're gonna go to object, and it could be object, objects at the top, or layers and objects, depending on which version is, is turned on. And it shows me my objects here. And if I mouse over the rectangle, there's little padlocks. So I'll click that padlock, which will lock this object in place. Next step, I'm going to add a triangle. And the way I do that is I go to the polygon tool over here on the left, click on it, and it gives me the polygon tool. And it says, if I mouse over this, it says regular polygon or star. And I want a regular polygon. And a triangle has three corners, so that's good. Now I'm going to change the color, because right now the color is set on the same color as the background. I wouldn't be able to see anything. So let's change it to something completely different. And if I hold the Control key and drag, it will drag. And I see how it, it, it can drag, and it snaps to either straight or, or a specific degree, rather than free, free spinning. And now that's not quite big enough, so I'm going to hold the, if I hold the control key, it will stretch um, proportionally. If I don't hold the control key, it'll stretch like this. So I don't want that. I want it to stretch proportionally. I'm holding the control key. I'll drag that bigger, 
And then the last step in this little short video is to center that object. So I'm going to go to Object, Align and Distribute. And over here, I have a dialog, and it says, relative to all these different things, I want to select Page. And then if I mouse over these things down here, it says something like, oh, align right edges of objects, or align left edges. Um, here, center on vertical axis. So that's what I want. And it looks like, so if I have this totally out of place, I click this, it centers the object. And for now, that's all we need. This gets us set up and to this point. Um, the, the bits to look at are over here on the left are the tools. Each time I select the tool, it stays that selection. So I've got the square tool turned on. But then I want to select this triangle. I, I have to go back to the selection tool to do it. Um, any questions, put them in the chat, I guess, if there's no such thing. Um, but anyway, that, that gets us to this point uh, in the assignment. So thank you.